my mentor always told me this if you want to be the best then study and the best and when it comes to studying for biotechnology students always come to me asking that please tell me which are the top 10 universities in the world where i can go and study or top 10 colleges where i can go and study and uh, this question has been asked so many times to me that i finally said okay let's do our research let's come up with the best colleges to go for in the current era for your biotech studies now first things first you should know this that many of these universities and colleges may not be in your country irrespective of from where you are watching so don't get disappointed we have compiled this list keeping in mind various criteria including the quality of professors the infrastructure and the research which is being done and uh, the number of research papers published and various other parameters now to start with if you want me to make such a list for your country no matter which country you are from please comment below which country you want me to make a top 10 colleges or universities of your country and i'll definitely make that for you but for now since we have the list of top 10 global universities from all across the world let's dive in and find out which are those what i'm about to tell you can open a plethora of questions but as always put your comments below because those comments will either help me make more and better videos for you or of course i'll re reply to the co your comments when i get okay so the first one and the number one biotech university or college in the world is mit that's called massachusetts institute of technology now mit is world famous for cutting edge research not just in biotechnology but robotics artificial intelligence machine learning bioinformatics whatever you name it especially bioengineering molecular biology and computational biology they are doing some real intense work in fact the quantum computing research it is on the number one already right so when it is already number one in multiple things obviously biotech also it is number one but the best part is this university has extensive partnership with leading biotech companies and it has a very strong entrepreneurial system so you don't just get placed many of the biotech graduates and postgraduates start companies out of mit and they have a very good funding also available if you ever get into mit now how to get into mit if you want to know please watch uh, this video till then because towards the end once i've done the ranking part i'll tell you in which college how you have to get it okay so that's the first one for you that is mit now the second one university for you which is the best among all is stanford university usa Now why it is the best let me tell you. Now Stanford excels in interdisciplinary research and innovation offering students a robust curriculum in biotechnology. Now actually biotechnology itself is interdisciplinary because it is a combination of multiple life science subjects it's not just one subject right so obviously it is a discipline but the moment you bring in other sciences like computer science like bioinformatics artificial intelligence machine learning and that makes it even more stronger right So another benefit of getting into Stanford is its proximity to the Silicon Valley. Now you know Silicon Valley is where all the IT startups are there. So you have access to the leading biotech firms, leading venture capital firms for startups and you can easily get into biotech as a scientist or as an analyst in various VC firms also for biotech companies and that is where Stanford holds a very significant value already into the biotech economy in the US, okay? Now starting with the third one. Now the third one is uh, something which is very much predictable but uh, let me tell you that it is Harvard. So Harvard University is a global leader in pharmaceutical, biomedical and biotechnological research. It offers world class infrastructure, world class resources and it has various in research institutes within it and medical schools within it and it has strong collaboration with biotech and pharma companies also. So this holistic one in hand in glove situation helps these universities to place the candidates faster and also the cutting edge research which is going on there and access to medical samples access to the infrastructure access to the right kind of talent and multi diversity culture helps harvard stand or rather i should say outstand others and that is why it is third on the list now how to get into harvard watch this video till then i'm going to tell you now the fourth one which i have for you is University of Cambridge of course not in USA but in UK yes Cambridge is renowned for various fields of course contribution to biotechnology and biosciences also and it has a strong research collaboration with various companies also genetic engineering bioinformatics synthetic biology you name it all the cutting edge top notch research which is happening in the world is happening in University of Cambridge 
UK and they have a very strong academia industry collaboration across Europe not just in UK so that is why University of Cambridge is on the fourth on the list and this is one of the most coveted university to go in. The next one which I have for you again goes back to USA. I know some of you must be disappointed that it is not in your country. But yes, why it is not in your country? Because USA got started with biotechnology probably 100 years ago. right? So they have the infrastructure and that's why in top 5, 4 are in US. Okay, one is in UK. So the fifth one is University of California, Berkeley, UC Berkeley, USA. Now UC Berkeley is a top tier institution for biotechnology with a strong focus on research in genetics bioengineering and molecular biology. Again, it is very closely placed to San Francisco, which is again a biotech hub. So that is why students working or students studying in University of California, Berkeley have easy access to startups, have easy access to internships, have easy access to industry oriented jobs. And that means the students who pass out from here are easily absorbed into the industry. So again, University of California is best in the world. Top five universities, you have now let's get to the sixth one now sixth one is again thankfully not in us it is in switzerland a beautiful country with eth zurich now eth zurich is one of the leading science and technology universities in europe and particularly they are very very strong in biotechnology bioengineering synthetic biology biomedical engineering and it is known for its innovative approach to solving global health and environment issues now Let's look at the most important aspect of this particular university. More than 100 plus startups have come out of ETH Zurich in the last 20-25 years and that's a big achievement. So the seventh one on the list is again not in USA thankfully. It is in UK again and that is University of Oxford. Now don't confuse it with the Oxford College which is in India. That's a different one. Oxford University you must have seen. It's one of the top-notch universities in the world for various languages, various technologies, and of course, biotechnology in particular. Now, we have Oxford as the home to best biotechnology research infrastructure in Europe, with departments which is dedicated to genetics, cellular biology, and bioinformatics. Now, this university's research impact is very high, and it has significant impact on healthcare as well as biotech industry. Students go in here generally you know, get out as top-notch researchers in the world and they are highly respected. So University of Oxford is the seventh on the list. Next one which I have for you is California Institute of Technology, again in USA. So Caltech USA offers a robust curriculum in biotechnology and bioengineering with a focus on innovative research in molecular biology, physics, biophysics and genomics. And it is renowned for fostering a collaborative research environment and that is why Caltech is one of the top-notch institutions in the U.S. again for biotechnology studies. Now, the ninth one, thankfully, is not in Europe, not in U.S., but in Asia. And that is National University of Singapore, Singapore. Now, NUS Singapore is Asia's leading university in biotechnology. And in fact, I should say that this is one of the best in Asia with cutting-edge research in bioengineering, biopharmaceuticals, biotechnology, biomedical sciences, bioinformatics, and this university has got global partnerships with various biotech companies and they are able to provide 100% placement as well. So, University of National University of Singapore is one of the best options you have if you are in Asia and you don't want to move out of Asia going to Europe or US. Now, the last one on the list is again not in any of those countries which I spoke in the beginning. It is in Tokyo, Japan and that is University of Tokyo. Now, University of Tokyo is a leader in biotechnology research in Asia, offering strong programs in molecular biology, genetics, and biomedical engineering, bioinformatics, AIML. And it has numerous industry-oriented collaborations with biotech firms and research institutes on the other side of the globe. And that is what makes University of Tokyo a very strong contender in the top 10 list. Now that I told you the top 10 list, I'm sure the next question will be how to get into these universities. Now, let me tell you one general information before I get to each university in a specific way. First general information is GRE or TOEFL or IELTS is required, but it depends on the college or the university, whether they take it or they make it mandatory or they don't. But a very strong statement of purpose is required. Now, before you begin writing your statement of purpose, you have to go to the university website and check for what kind of research is happening and does it align with your research interest does it align with your 
future research interests and then you have to accordingly do some internships some projects which you can always do at Biotechnica because we have various online as well as offline internships and projects happening in research. So suppose you want to get into bioinformatics, you can take our bioinformatics internship and it is very easy to do. The link is given in the description. You can check it out or you can always WhatsApp us and talk to somebody, you know, face to face on a video call. So yeah, that's one of the best way you do your internship or a research project. Okay. And then you write that in your statement of purpose that, okay, you are so much aligned towards that, that you've already done this. And of course, publish some papers that will help you stand out of the crowd and try the high impact journals there. So that's one. Now coming to individual colleges, so like I said, MIT, so that was the first one. So you need a very high GPA, CGPA, strong academic background in biology, chemistry and related sciences and high GRE score, if not just high, it should be the highest and a well-crafted statement of purpose which demonstrates your research interest and it should align with the papers you have published and of course you should get some letter of recommendation from not just academia but from the industry also and research experience, internships, publications in the biotech field can strengthen your application for MIT. Now, the application process is very simple. You have to go to the MIT application portal. Deadline is typically in December for graduate programs and for undergraduate programs, the deadline follows the standard US cycle. Now, coming to the second one, which I told you was Stanford. So, for Stanford, again, you have to have a very high GPA, excellent academic record, particularly in bioengineering or biological sciences. GRE is optional for most of the programs, but uh, competitive scores can help you enhance your application. So there's no harm in writing. Then, of course, a strong research background with a focus on biotechnology, bioinformatics, biomedical research, bioengineering, whatever suits you or AIML in biology. And then the statement of purpose should outline your career goals, how Stanford is a good fit, how the research which you have already done is already putting you, you know, keeping you one step ahead of others. And of course, typically three letters of recommendation also you should have from not just professors but from industry mentors as well so to work somewhere get some recommendation and then apply now the application is again stanford student portal is there you can apply through that just google and you'll get it and deadlines is early december for most of the graduate programs the third rank was harvard so you need a high gpa you need a high gre you need to have a research experience and publication paper publications experience and lab work you should have done some internship related to what they are doing research on. Have a very strong personal statement of purpose explaining your interest in biotech, your career goals and how Harvard program helps you achieve them. And again, you should have letters of recommendation from your professors and somebody from the industry. Now moving ahead, the fourth one we have is University of Cambridge, UK. So here a first class or a upper second class honors degree. GRE is typically not required, but TOEFL or IELTS will be required here. A research proposal or a personal statement demonstrating your clear research interest in biotech or bioinformatics and of course academic references from your professors. Application process for University of Cambridge is through the website of University of Cambridge graduate admission portal and uh, the deadlines vary but typically it will be in, des in December or January. Next one will be University of California UC Berkeley. So here, strong GPA is required in biology, chemistry, bioengineering subjects. GRE is optional, but if you have it, good for you. Uh, you need to have significant research experience in biotech-related subjects. Again, similar, everything looks similar, just that deadlines will differ. And uh, again, most of the graduate programs, it will be December itself. Then ETH Zurich, I told you, so that GRE is not required. If you are a non-native English speaker, you need to have a TOEFL or the IELTS. Strong statement of purpose, paper publication, strong research background, work experience, all of that matters. And letter of recommendation, preferably from the industry. Now again, you can apply online through ETH Zurich and typically it will be in December for graduate programs. Next, I had told you about University of Oxford, UK. So again, you need to have a high score in your master's or bachelor's. Do you need to have TOEFL or IELTS? Statement of purpose, outlining your biotech research experience and interest and letter of recommendation and not just from academia, but from industry as well. And then you should know the deadlines. It is typically in January. You can apply through Oxford Graduate Admission Portal. Next, we have California Institute of Technology, Caltech USA. Again, GRE is optional, not mandatory, but if you have it, good for you. You have to show or demonstrate your high interest in biological sciences and that you can do by gaining some research experience in biotech through internships, lab work or publications. You have to have a personal statement and statement of purpose highlighting your research goals and why you want to work at Caltech, what exactly you will bring to the table and what's your 
interest and then of course three letter of recommendation from industry as well as academia NUS is fairly easy again but you need to have a GRE or GATE score GATE score is for India and then you need to have research interest in biotechnology bioengineering and related fields TOEFL or IELTS score for non native speakers which is for all of you strong academic record and research experience in biotech bioinformatics have some papers published to get easy entry into NUS now typically the line is december okay for the graduate program you can check that out on the university website now the last but the least we spoke about the university of tokyo so again a bachelor's degree in biotechnology toefl ilt score for non native english speakers strong statement of purpose publish some papers to help you and then outline why exactly you want to work there find out what research is going on how does it help you academic references from your professors so more or less all these have similar requirements but now i know you might be having some more questions right so go ahead put those questions down and take up one by one whenever i get time or i'll just make a video of all the combined questions so overall what i uh, told you is you need to have a very good score in your bachelor's to get into masters there or phd there you need to have research experience of a minimum of 1 to 2 years that's very important you need to have strong letter of recommendation not just from an academia but from the industry also strong personal statement and of course standardized tests such as GRE TOEFL IELTS GATE whatever is your uh, you know eligibility requirement so these are the things which you should know but now i know that not everybody can get into these top 10 right so okay if you're getting in fine if you're not getting in probably you will target the top 10 colleges or universities in your country so comment below what next you would like to see in the top 10 series and we will definitely make that we'll do our research we'll find out we'll talk to industry experts we'll talk to academic experts we have our own data or compile all of that and we'll give you the best list so that your future is bright thank you so much for watching this video i hope i was able to add value to your time today thank you so much take care keep shining bye bye